lock the kettle on because Sunday Morning Live is up in an hour here on One. And big questions, bigger answers. There's no shine away from the spotlight for the biggest names inside and outside of politics in a brand new series. Hello and a very warm welcome to a new show and a new political era. Tomorrow, one of these two will be chosen as our new Prime Minister. I promise that on this programme we'll bring you good news along with the bad. But whoever wins faces an almighty job. It's not been a pretty race. No new taxes. Maxing out the country's credit card is not right. But the victor has enormous problems to confront. Energy prices making life impossible. I think it's a terrifying winter ahead for everybody. The war here in Ukraine, one of the big reasons for the problems we face. Putin's already shut down a major pipeline. The squeeze is on. So there's one big question for us this morning. What should the next Prime Minister do first? Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak are both here. And we'll hear from Elena Zelenska, the First Lady of Ukraine, about her fears, the path of the war and Eurovision. And with me throughout the show to chew it all over, Cleo Watson, who worked for Boris Johnson and Theresa May in number 10, Birmingham's finest, the comedian Joe Lysett, Hello. and the Labour frontbencher, Emily Thornbury. A very warm welcome to you. Now first, a quick word about our show. We are here to ask important questions, the ones that you want answers to from the people who make decisions that affect us all. We will check out what is true and what is not, but we're gonna try and have more conversations than arguments. Now I cannot promise you that's always what's going to happen, but we will also sometimes have a bit of fun, including this morning, I hope. I'm very glad you're here. Right, let's get cracking because there's really one thing on people's minds at the moment. And in the last couple of days, social media has shown just how tough the next few months is going to be for people. Families and firms have been sharing their bills online and with us. Look at the energy bill of one small restaurant going from £2,900 a year to 22000 Now, in a way, that's the thing this morning that gets to the heart of the problems the new prime minister has. But if you look at the front pages, well, you might not realise we're on the verge of a huge political moment tomorrow. Some of them are talking about the prime ministerial race, but not them all. But first, of course, as a politics programme, that's what we're going to discuss. Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak. Now, Claire Watson, you know the Tory party well. You've worked in government. Tell us something that we don't know about both of them. Whatever so capacity. that's a yes, you're not ruling it out. No, gosh, no, no, no. I think, I think, I think that, that my job now is to just support Conservative government. That's what I want to see okay, succeed. Okay, we and that's must what leave I'll it do. there. Thank you so much for coming in, especially on our first show. And whatever happens, I hope that you come back again soon. Now, as we come towards the end of the first programme, let's hear again from Liz Truss and from Rishi Sunak. And remember, one of them will be announced tomorrow as our next Prime Minister. I can say, Laura, that I will act if I'm elected as Prime Minister. I will act immediately on bills and on energy supply because I think those two things go hand in hand. What I've said I would do is provide direct financial support. I announced some of that as Chancellor. I would go further as Prime Minister as the situation is deteriorated and we would do that with direct payments using both the welfare system and the system we have to pay pensioners their winter fuel payment over the winter. Now, listening patiently, my guest, Cleo Watson, comedian Joe Lysette, who's about to start his new tour, and Emily Thornbury. Cleo, what do you think is going to happen in the next few days? You've got a lot of experience of Tory government. I mean, I think first I've got hope, which is, and, and I think everyone will agree on the panel, whoever wins, I hope they just completely smash it because we're just in such a dire situation and we need whoever it is to do the best job possible. Um, if we don't get the help that we need, my prediction is I'll be stowed away on the Artemis rocket by <laughs> Monday. <laughs> I've been in NICU environments, to be honest. So. <laughs> Emily Thornbury, to you, what do you predict? Um, I mean, can I just say, I thought that the interview with Mrs. Uh, Zelenska was really moving and I do want to assure her that uh, the Britain is absolutely united and we will st we will give Ukraine steadfast support that 
does not mean that we don't need to be looking at how on earth we are going to deal with the energy crisis. We can't blame mm -hmm. the war in Ukraine for all of it, because why are our prices going up more than anyone else's? And we do need to have real action. And I'm disappointed that we've yet to hear a proper plan coming from either of these leadership candidates. And Joe, what do you make of what you've heard in the last hour? Well, it was nice to hear from Rishi Sunak. He's not going to be prime minister, so you may as well have interviewed Peter Andre. But I would like to see some sort of plan, something concrete. We need help now. Well, we think very much if Liz Truss wins the Tory leadership election, she's promised she'll come back with that plan in a matter of now? days. It We're not quite now. sure. Well, well, we might oh, have to wait a little wing. bit longer. Okay. <laughs> Joe Lysette, thank you so very much. Cleo Watson, thank you so very much. And Emily Thornbury from Labour, thank you so very much all for being with us here this morning. Now, as we end our first programme, let's go all the way back to the beginning. We've been trying to answer a key question. What is the new Prime Minister going to do first? The energy crisis is unavoidably at the top of that list. The First Lady of Ukraine told us to remember her country, and they are counting the price in casualties, not in pennies. From Liz Trust this morning, help is coming, and within a week, she promised. I can't help thinking that although she said at the beginning of the leadership campaign that there would be no handouts, that reality has started to bite. The conversation with the public, with all of us, is going to be very different to the conversation that Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak have had with their party this summer. Maybe the hard work starts now. Hard work here too. See you here next week or catch up on anything you missed, of course, on the iPlayer. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you here next week. Same time, same place. Goodbye.